Okay, so just for the context for the audience, um, George is my friend. We met on internet, and we were both related to IT industry. George is more of an entrepreneur, and I'm more of a developer. So he was, you know, we collaborated on on a couple of meetings earlier, and uh, yeah, we just had this idea. George shared with me that maybe to provide a potential platform for Pakistani developers and students, where they can, you know, register themselves and start a a competition sort of a hackathon sort of type of competition and win prize money and from there wherever you know competition and stuff like that takes us so that's what we're going to discuss today he sent me an email earlier as well so yeah hey george hi fahad so how are you good i'm well it's very cold here in melbourne but I'm keeping up. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. So yeah, George, uh, I read the email, the Adrian email that you sent me, uh, where you mentioned uh, maybe a potential opportunity for us in or people in Pakistan, mostly students. Yes. So do you want to maybe discuss more about that and tell the audience about it? Uh, sure. So first of all, uh, this is very interesting feeling being on the camera. I I know. Fahad, you spend many hours being on the camera, so you can do much more fluent than than me. So f- forgive my <laughs> uh, errors if I go into the circles. So basically, no the the idea was born just very very recently when we were approaching different software engineering companies from Ukraine, Poland, and myself. I I was born in Poland, then immigrated to Australia, and we approach Australia's company and Thai some Thai companies mm-hmm. and um, what we found out that there is lots of uh, young talent like uh, fresh graduates who are joining those companies and working there so then mm-hmm. uh, me and my other team members we just thought why don't we create like a competition maybe put the prize money uh, for the grab and we attract a couple of you know students from different countries and we will give them the scope of work we will provide mm-hmm. good uh, documentation for the project, which is done by BA, by professional BAs. And we will just say, look, guys, can you build that product? And if you manage to push to the App Store, and App Store and Google Play will accept it, then the money is yours. And we can have like a three, uh, three, three main prizes, right? So mm-hmm. that basically where it came from. And another thing would be that um, it's not just... You know, we want to attract the brightest and most ambitious people uh, to the project Mm -hmm. because I understand, you know, I used to be a student myself and people have their own, um, their their own lives, right? They they party, they socialize, they have boyfriends, girlfriends, and they have to study, they have to work part-time. So it's it's actually really hard to to be a student and then doing the project after hours. However, I know if you really want, it's, it's doable and actually... Um, the people who are doing the projects on the second year and first year of their study, usually they have jobs on the year three already. So actually, you don't need to graduate to get a job offers. You're getting right. companies approaching you while you're still in university. So I think that was yeah. something that, you know, that we thought to to bring to the young people and and offer them what we have. We can offer them and, and harness Harness the youth, passion, brilliance, and uh, and skills. You know that's kind of. I yeah. don't know if I said too much, but but uh, that was, you totally that was on made my sense, mind. and it's yeah, it it's quite exciting and and a very great opportunity, I believe, for the people, especially for the students and fresh graduates over here in Pakistan. Uh, so, I received the email, I guess. Uh, yesterday or maybe a day before yesterday so i created a poll as well on my linkedin and youtube so like i you know asked my subscribers a question if given an opportunity to compete in a competitive programming to build an application which will obviously uh, give a prize have a prize money in thousands of dollars potentially so would you be willing to participate so like I got 90 plus percent of the people who are voting yes, yes. And even I, you know, even received an email from um, a, a couple of emails from my subscribers telling, uh, asking me for, for the opportunity, for the details of the opportunity. So that's why I thought, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we should make a recording 
and so, sorry, sorry for jumping in, but now I'm even more excited because it seems like I know you are action orientated man, but I didn't know you took <laughs> the action quickly. So, so thank you very much. That's very flattering. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, I just wanted to, you know, have a, have a sense of uh, about the subscribers and the audience and people in Pakistan that would they be willing to actually compete if if given an opportunity. So even before we, you know, started discussing practically to, you know, start how however we want to start it, I just wanted to maybe have a survey and I just did and you know received a lot of positive outcome. We could. Um, potentially bring in even like a HR department of university or some lecturers yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, CS classes like uh, people who, who who are teaching the the engineering actually and and I believe every project you can start small you know like we we don't have to aim for the huge success but once you keep yeah. doing once you're persistent then another companies can join because let's be really transparent and honest about it when you create a pool or you create the event where young people are part of, it yeah. will attract lots of software development companies to try exactly. to reach out to those people and, and headhunt them, basically, you know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, I mean, that now that we've discussed the opportunity, so, like, how do you, do you have anything in mind how to take it to, to action from the plan? What's the plan of action and stuff like that? If Speaking from the top of my head and from the things that I already communicated to you on the email, uh, we need URL, right? So we need a website. Use this website to communicate with people. What do we do? Why we do? What's in it for them? And, um, you know, we, we can set yeah. up the date. So that will be the first stage, yeah, you know, sort and of inform a, them. Yes. Mm -hmm. A platform we can we can market this entire idea and competition Correct. and then and, and maybe maybe name. registering users as well correct uh, registering uh, getting the name bring them on the journey right um, because i would love this to be ongoing you know we have a project already which is like our project but later mm -hmm. on i'm sure there will be many companies trying to do the same so we could facilitate doing that and um, uh, so that will be first step from my view you know second step would be uh, emailing to uh, facebook groups within different universities mm -hmm. within different uh, cities and reach out to professors as well because we need to spread this uh, spread yeah. this out and um, we need to do as, as a company we need to provide you know software specification requirement documents uh, what we can bring to the table is maybe um, people like carl carl vegers who is the international authority in in in, um, in in the software specification requirement documents drafting so what else and after that once we have this or e mm -hmm. actually parallelly we need to put the, you know, the prizes, what they can win, uh, rules, yeah. we need to set up the rules, we need to pick the judges, so that would be like, you know, not only us, but we need to have a technical judge, it would be nice if we have like a mentors, two or three, like yeah. people who will actually um, approve those projects and pick the winner, and criteria, as well, there will have to be the criteria written out, yeah, so I think that's, you know, it's, it's chaos, very chaotic when you start every project. But I think when you put those actionable, measurable, measurable things, who going to do what, it will clarify it eventually, you know? Yeah, yeah agreed, agreed. So would, would, would it be uh, technology specific or, I mean, if every everyone can create apps in every technology, whatever technology they're comfortable in. And we will have we question. will have judges from all the stacks of the technologies and IT industry to judge them. Mm. So, because we mm -hmm. let, let's think, people build the apps for themselves because they themselves and their friends and their friends wants to use it, you know? People build things yeah. for, for fun very yeah. often yeah. and then turn into the company. So we could, yeah. um, we can, explain give them the frames and explain what we want people to do because in the end of the day name is not important you know uh, yeah. which technology app is who cares you know what is important can is this app helping me in abc things to do yeah. in life yeah 
So we yeah. can give definite freedom to people to choose the technology stack, but the outcome, mm -hmm. the outcome should be, you know, dictated by the client or by the business owner and and so on. You know. So I think right. the first stage, the first stage would be the outcome and the needs would be from the business. In mm -hmm. the future, hopefully, when when the project get, gets bigger, we might say that the people ideas are welcome, right? What we might do, right. we might bring together, we might bring together marketing students and sales students with engineering students because not everywhere, like like how I see things is that every engineer can be marketer and can be salespeople mm -hmm. because it's learnable, but not every salespeople and not every marketer can be engineer. And and yeah. there's plenty information on online so i think but but those two like hackers hipsters and hustlers these three groups of people they they need each other so that could yeah. be even in the future the people can collaborate so yeah i guess i mean that uh, that's uh, all i wanted to really you know discuss with you uh, sure. just to give an uh, i think after this discussion people watching this would have an idea like what what sort of opportunity that we are trying to bring for them. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll start working on it. Maybe, then. maybe bring some yes, people. You know, if I had, we could, yes, we could create very little on open source, like a forum, mm -hmm. even a Facebook group, you know, like, wow. yeah, Facebook group or anything to get people involved, to tell them yeah. what you want out of it, you know, how many teams they should be, you know, what should be the criteria to make fair, because if we want people to be accountable, let's bring them into the, the decision-making process, right? So yeah. if we will set up a deadline and then people will be like, oh, it's difficult. We are just students. I mean, mate, yeah. too hard. You know, the, yeah. the world is very competitive. And if you want to, you know, work on any project, you can just play the games until you graduate and then compete with other engineers or you can get job easily before you graduate right so we are really after the hard-working olympic animals to, mm -hmm. to 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 join us right the the, the a players and right. and and i think that would be good to to be forgiving but be very hard at the same time on students yeah. you know inspire them and show them the brutal realities of this yeah. of this world that when you've also graduated the, after yeah. time, it's not that much yeah. fun, you know, anymore. Yeah, competition yeah. brings the best out of a person as well. So, yeah, so tough time, hardships will bring the best out of the best people that we'll already have on our platform. Yeah. Uh, having said that, thank you, George. Uh, I guess that okay. that was all I had to, you know, discuss about the opportunity, this opportunity. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, this is a small opportunity, um, a potential opportunity. For you guys, I obviously George ke saap mein discussion dekhi jo hui. Basically, point yehi tha yar. Dekho, main ab very, I'll be very bluntly honest with you. I to kamar hu, aur main thik kamar hu apne saap se, apne liye. Kyun na aap logo ko ek aisa platform provide kiya jaye jisme potential opportunities ho kamane ki. Maybe still uh, while you're studying, maybe you're a fresh graduate. Is tarah ki opportunities mujhe to nahi mili jab main Pakistan mein student. मतलब जब मैं स्टूडेंट था पाकिस्तान में मुझे इस तरह की अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं मिली और ना ही नजर आती हैं आई डोंट नो वेयर इट्स गोना गो लेकिन वेयरएवर इट टेक्स अस आई थिंक इट विल गेट द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस कंबाइंड और इसीलिए मैं ये अपॉर्चुनिटीज पोटेंशियल अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपके लिए अपने यू नो जो यंगस्टर्स हैं जो फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट्स हैं आईटी इंडस्ट्री में आना चाहते हैं टेक से रिलेट करना चाहते हैं अपना करियर अपनी लाइफ उनके लिए पर्टिकुलरली ये अपॉर्चुनिटीज एक्सप्लोर कर रहा हूँ मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि एक्सप्लोर हो इनको क्या उसे कहते हैं अंजाम तक पता नहीं जो भी अंजाम तक पहुँचाया जाए ये चीज़ें हैं अब बस आप लोगों के मैंने वो पल के आप लोगों से मैंने पूछा भी था ऑब्वियसली मैंने यूट्यूब के भी अपने वो चैनल पर स्टेटस लगाया लिंकड इन भी लगाया आप लोगों का बहुत पॉजिटिव रिस्पॉन्स आया इन दोनों स्टेटस में मैंने जॉर्ज के साथ शेयर भी किए हैं पोल्स सर्वेज जो हैं और वो बड़ा एक्साइटेड है वो मतलब बल्कि उसके भी कुछ फ्रेंड्स हैं आगे सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनीज में जो और उसने बताया भी ऑलरेडी भी वो ऐसा एक काम कर रहे हैं और वो पाकिस्तान में ये चीज़ करना चाहता है तो क्यों ना यार ट्राई किया जाए अब मुझे नहीं पता कितनी देर लगेगी मजीद इस चीज़ को सेटअप करने के लिए बट द प्रोसेस 
इज इनिशिएटेड हमने बल्कि वीडियो के बाद हमने काफ़ी डिस्कशन की आधे घंटे की मजीद जो कि रिकॉर्ड नहीं की हमने जिसमें हमने हाउ टू एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिकली स्टार्ट दिस फॉर यू गाइस तो उसमें हमने पॉइंट्स जॉट डाउन किए हैं तो ये चीज़ें थी जो कि मैं आ, कोशिश करता हूँ कि होती रहें साथ साथ तो मज़ा आता है काम करने का वीकेंड से मैं इस तरह की अपॉर्चुनिटीज एक्सप्लोर करता हूँ इस तरह के लोगों से मिलता हूँ डिफरेंट चैनल्स के थ्रू और उनसे डिस्कशंस करता हूँ वीडियोस बना बनाने की कोशिश करता हूँ ये तो मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम बनाई है मेरा पहला इस तरह का एक एक्सपीरियंस है मुझे नहीं पता अगर वीडियो की क्वालिटी थोड़ी सी बुरी हुई ऑब्वियसली वो इंटरनेट कनेक्शन और वो वेरी काइंड ऑफ हिम के उसने टाइम दिया थोड़ा सा हाँ यार अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आई है और अगर आपने इस पर रहना है अप टू डेट तो सब्सक्राइब कर लें चैनल लिंक इन पर मुझे अब जरूर फॉलो कर दीजिएगा क्योंकि मैं ऑब्वियसली हर छोटी छोटी चीज़ की वीडियो बना के तो नहीं मैं डाल पाऊँगा बट मैं लिंक इन पर अपनी इस बारे में सबको अप टू डेट रखूँगा जितने ही मेरे फॉलोअर्स हैं जितने ही मेरे कनेक्ट्स हैं वहाँ तो वहाँ पर मुझे लाजमी कर दी डिस्क्रिप्शन में उसका मैंने लिंक लगाया हुआ है और इंस्टाग्राम पर फॉलो कर दीजिएगा वहाँ पर ये है कि चलो थोड़ा सा एक फर्स्ट व्यू आपको मैं दे दूँ स्टेटस की फॉर्म में कि क्या चल रहा है टेक इंडस्ट्री में और क्या चल रहा है मेरी लाइफ में टेक से रिलेटेड जो कि मैं आप लोगों के लिए भी लाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ अदर एन दैट सी इज वास्ट ओपन एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर योर सेल्फ फिर किसी नेक्स्ट वीडियो में आप लोगों से किसी नई नए टॉपिक पे और नई चीज़ों के साथ नई नई अपडेट्स के साथ आएंगे तब तक के लिए टेक केयर